The theme of the Sheridan Creates Conference is on exploring transformation in higher education. And along with this, uh, we will discuss how we redesigned, modernized, and streamlined information and communication technology courses in our school. My name is Mohammed Abdullah. I'm a professor of electrical engineering uh, within the School of uh, Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. We're part of the Faculty of Applied Science and Technology, and we are located at the Davis campus in Brampton. We are located in the greater Toronto area. And in fact, Toronto is a major tech hub in North America. More tech jobs uh, pre-pandemic were created in Toronto uh, than in Seattle, New York, Washington, D.C., and the Bay Area combined. The COVID-19 pandemic impacted many sectors, including the technology sector. However, a K-shaped uh, economic recovery is expected. Uh, and in fact, the tech uh, sector is projected to recover quite fast. Irrespective of the challenges and opportunities as a result of the pandemic, uh, the fact remains that there is a major shortage in tech talent uh, in Canada, and particularly uh, in the GTA region. In addition to the shortage in tech talent, quite often graduating students lack real world uh, skill sets. And therefore, there is a major need for uh, incorporating and embedding experiential learning in the uh, engineering curriculum. In addition to the previous two challenges, uh, courses that are offered in, in colleges and universities are quite often uh, siloed and they operate in a standalone fashion and there is a need for integrating courses beyond uh, prerequisites and prerequisites. Moreover, working collaboratively is vital for future engineers uh, and therefore we need to address the source of challenges and guide our students with effective mitigating techniques uh, during school projects. Teaching ICT courses is in fact quite challenging. The technology uh, is rapidly changing all the time and therefore instructors should continuously read, uh, be involved in active research and uh, also at the end of the day be a lifelong learners. In our school, we were proactive in tackling these uh, challenges by applying various measures. As a first step, we decided to streamline ICT courses. And streamlining has the benefit of unifying the learning objective of related courses uh, and also of eliminating redundant topics and of uh, leveraging some of the resources uh, between the courses. As a second step, we uh, redesigned various ICT courses using the um, uh, guidelines of the CDIO initiative. CDIO uh, stands for Conceive, Design, Implement, and Operate. Uh, and it looks at the entire life cycle of an engineering process and technology. Also, we overcome the challenge of siloed courses by applying an integrated learning block between um, various courses offered within a semester. So last year, for the first time, we combined uh, three courses, the, a project for the three courses that you see in front of you. Beyond uh, classroom uh, projects, we also uh, have initiated various um, projects on emerging technology and in these projects we would invite some of the uh, more performant and eager students to to these projects uh, and this is an example of a smart parking project that we are uh, currently working on at Sheridan. Furthermore, in order to expose our students to real-world challenges in telecommunications, we strengthened our relationship with industrial collaborators uh, and these collaborators uh, from industry were instrumental for uh, consultation, uh, curriculum design, and in, in, with research projects. In order to stay up to date with uh, ICT innovation, we uh, hosted various uh, conferences and seminars uh, at Sheridan. Uh, and in each of these uh, events, uh, we uh, brought uh, distinguished speakers from academia, in from industry, and um, the, um, the the attendance was uh, was very high, uh, over 120 attendees for the uh, 57 IEEE 5G summit, and um, and it was uh, quite successful. 
We also participated with uh, the following two uh, scholarship of teaching and learning conferences uh, where we contributed with a paper where we shared our the Sheridan uh, experience, but we also uh, learned from the experience of other uh, schools uh, and universities uh, in Canada and around the world. Some of the key outcome of our research uh, is summarized in the next uh, three slides. Uh, the first outcome is we offer a very systematic methodology for course design. Uh, it is explained in an algorithmic way, uh, and it, it is based on uh, the known backward design approach, but we also introduce the process of forward design. And the combination of both uh, helps us to, uh, to effectively put together a course. As a second outcome, uh, we uh, provide a very detailed uh, framework for integrating uh, various engineering courses into a specific learning block. So um, as you see here, you have the uh, course map for uh, one of the programs that we have. And we have three uh, projects. And between the projects, there's a one-year gap. The third and last outcome of our research uh, is the uh, a strategy that uses uh, instructional scaffolding of essentially building the skill sets of, for students um, uh, where uh, applied learning is in the first two years and then applied research is in the next two years. Some of the key takeaways of this presentation is that technology evolves rapidly and we need to stay up to date. And this is uh, very important, but also very time consuming and sometimes challenging to do. The other thing that is important is applying uh, research uh, projects uh, within courses and integrating courses is not easy, but it is extremely rewarding for students. For future work, we want to explore the outcome of applying an integrated learning block in uh, our school, in the School of Electrical and Mechanical Engineering, and we want to compare the, both the qualitative result, the feedback that we get from the students, and also the, the data, the, the grades that we get from students uh, of standalone courses versus uh, ILB, integrated learning block courses. If you're interested to uh, learn more about some of the projects that we did, uh, you're welcome to look at these references. Uh, the first two are related to, uh, to the work done at Sheridan, and the other three are from previous experiences, but they also supported me with, uh, with this uh, project that we undertook here. Uh, I will leave a link to these papers at the bottom of the video. Thank you for your attention.